or will you go to defend Team Evil? Defend Evil until the very end? Will you defend that monster that you call, quote, God, and pray to it, worship it, as it demands that you do? One that calls itself jealous? The one that claims to have created all of this, including evil? says so right in the book that some of you insist on following, even though it's been shown to you that it's been in the hands of royals and Freemasons for centuries. You think it's, quote, holy? It's full of holes, but it's not holy, okay? Um, how far are you willing to go to defend evil when I show you what this realm is and you try to claim that it wasn't created this way? Or what if it wasn't created this way? What if it was created like it says in the Bible, in other words? You get what I'm saying? Do you think I've not read that? I was raised on that. I'm beyond that. You're not. That's the problem. You're, you think you're trying to teach me something, but you have it reversed. You're not learning, and you're trying to, quote, teach me something that I've been through, you know, as a, a second or third grader. I was already questioning it. You're not there yet as an adult. You get what I'm saying? So the Garden of Eden and... Adam and Eve, and, and uh, Eve ate the forbidden fruit, whether it was a pomegranate or an apple or whatever fruit. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It makes no sense to punish us for what they did. The whole story makes no sense. Whether you take it literally or as a parable, metaphor, whatever, it makes no sense. No matter which way you examine it, if it were a sculpture, you could walk around at 360 degrees, all the way around it, and keep observing it, and studying it from every angle. And in the end, if you're a logical person, you'd have to say, it makes no sense. It's not moral even. It's not even moral to punish people. It's extremely immoral to punish children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren for the sins of the, quote, father and mother. You know, in other words, Adam and Eve, what they did, we shouldn't be punished with original sin or a realm that's gone evil. So if it started off as good, which people think, they think that's a hole in my theory somehow, which is funny to me because it isn't at all, at all, quite the opposite. If that were true, which can't be proven, so it's almost just like a mental exercise that's pointless to think, what if, what if it was a paradise though and it got changed along the way or it became this way? What if? Okay, I'll, fall, I'll go along with that thought experiment, which is all it is. What if it was? Where's that loving God that created that paradise? And why did he put that tree there with forbidden fruit anyways? To tempt his children. Don't eat that. I'm going to put this here, but don't eat it. It's like tempting a toddler that doesn't know any better. With cookies. Putting it on a plate in front of them. And they're hungry. They haven't eaten all day. They've fasted. You haven't fed them breakfast or lunch. And it's after lunch. It's, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon. And there's a plate full of cookies. Don't eat those. Don't touch those. And you're putting it right there. You're doing it. You're putting it on the table in front of them. Okay? So is that your God? Is that what you're saying? And so then it's our fault what this realm became? Okay, let's say they sinned. Let's say, let's say that it works the way that you believe. Or see, you're trying to get me to believe. I already went through that as a child. Far beyond that. But let's say that that's, you know, that this place was created just a beautiful paradise. A garden of Eden which is really what you're referring to without naming it. All right, I, I catch on to what you're doing. So God created this Garden of Eden. Well, where's God? Well, who, who, what God created the earthquakes and the hurricanes? Is that all punishment too for the Garden of Eden? You know, all this destruction of innocent people here that lose their lives and children that die in these disasters that are, quote, acts of God. See, your theory doesn't add up, man or woman doesn't add up so you you, you kind of, some of you kind of think oh there's a gotcha moment what if it wasn't created this way and it became this way what if it was a paradise well where's that god to restore it to paradise why is he allowing all this evil if he's an omnipotent creator god that could make a paradise why did he allow it to be degraded and corrupted to the point where it's so sickening here it's beyond words if you really look if you can do what i do i don't think you're doing that though the people that are saying, what if it wasn't always this way? I don't think you're taking a real honest, deep look at reality, at this realm. 
10,000 diseases. How'd they get there? How did they get here? How, how did it get this way with the uh, children having leukemia? Oh, what if it, it wasn't always this way? How does that help us today? If that were the case 10 million years ago, hypothetically, just to choose a round number, 10 million years ago, let's say it was a paradise or 6,000, like the Christians believe, they think they have it figured out. I mean, it, that's, that's laughable. You're, you have a, a child's mind, an infant's mind, if you think, if you're a believer in the Bible at this point, and you believe in the 6,000 years, the creation story, and it's, it's written in an old book, so it must be true. Well, who published that book? Who put it on the printing press and sold it? Looked into that? Have you looked into who King James I was? Have you looked into that? Have you looked into anything? I mean, you're arguing with me on my channel out of ignorance. Why don't you look into something? That's all I'm asking. All I'm asking you to do is not extraordinary things. It's what I've already done. I'm just asking you to do so you're on my level to argue this shit with me so that you know what you're talking about. That's all. Get what I'm saying? If you want to argue a book with me, whether it's the Bible or whether it's, uh, let's say, Orwell's 1984, at least read the book and know what you're talking about. If you want to tell me I'm all wrong when I talk about Orwell's 1984, I've read the book multiple times. If you haven't read it, you have no right to argue about it because you don't know. It's like some of you that believe in this quote God of the Bible don't know that it's written right in your Bible that your God created good and evil, darkness and light. Why did, why did your, your all-loving God that you call all-loving create evil? What's the point? Why, why would he do that? You know? So maybe it got this way. Maybe it became this way. That's really not a big theory. You're not telling me something that I've never heard before. You're not hitting me with something new. You're not hitting me with something that debunks my theories. You're not poking holes in what I've said here in my videos. Try harder. I mean, if, if you can do it, by all means, uh, if you can prove that something here is completely untrue, then it deserves to be. Whoa. See, it, it's not about ego. It's about getting at the truth here. It's not about my ego. It's not about me being right or wrong. I'm trying to get at the truth here. And what a lot of you are trying to do is defend an evil monster called, quote, God. That's really what you're trying to do. You're not trying to get at the truth. Okay, some of you are, but I'm saying there's people here that are really just trying to defend, defend that evil monster thinking, maybe I'll get special favors when I die. And if, I, if I'm afraid of it enough, if I'm, quote, God-fearing enough, maybe it won't hurt me and send me to hell when I die. So I'll attack everybody on earth that's telling the truth. When I encounter a guy like the Sandy Machine that's speaking truth, I'll attack him. I'll attack him for God. I'll do God's work for that evil monster. I'll try to attack him. But you haven't proven me wrong. That's the problem. Like, it's not a problem for me. It's a problem for you. It's a problem for you. The problem for you that there's massive floods that drown people to death, including children. That's a problem for you. It's a problem that I see it and mention it, and I credit your quote God with that. You could say it just became this way. Well, how, how did humans create these? Humans don't create these massive floods, and perhaps they can control the weather these days, but they couldn't 2,000 years ago or 5,000 years ago. And there were massive floods then. So I'm talking about the design of this realm, and maybe you're not catching on. Well, people do bad things, but you're not looking at the design. And all the design evil that's put into this design that I described in my recent video, debunking that theory about we collectively created this evil realm. I showed mostly not people doing evil acts, but the design of the realm, which you just can't grasp, I guess, that it's designed to be evil. Hereditary diseases, okay, that you're genetically predisposed to get. And I know people with them that Alzheimer's runs in their family and they knew they were a ticking time bomb. They were going to get that one day. They saw their mom get that and their older sister and they're old now, they're in their 80s and, they, and that, you get what I'm saying? It's not what they did or what they chose. It was coded into them like a time bomb built into their 
quote, DNA, you could call it, their genetics. The whole DNA double helix thing is bullshit. It's a cartoon drawing. It's not real. But do we have genetic DNA material? Yeah, but it doesn't look the way they portray it to us. Okay, those are artist renditions. And I am an artist, okay? So I can, I, I, I know what I'm talking about, all right? Look into that if you're, if you're quick to disagree. I get tired of those people. The ones that, they can watch an hour-long video and they'll just wh write a little comment thinking like they're disagreeing. You haven't proven me wrong. That's the problem, all right? Being ignorant doesn't prove me wrong. I'm trying to get at the truth here and trying to share the truth and expose what this realm is. And what a lot of you are trying to do is cling on to lies and cling on to a fake, quote, God. It's a monster. So what if it created an Eden and, and made temptation for Adam and Eve and then just, wa and what, has watched for thousands of years? This, quote, all-loving God has watched the evil here and the earthquakes and hurricanes and diseases and the grapists and the uh, ones on sex offender lists, all this stuff, just sat back and watched and said, well, I created a paradise, but they fucked it up, so I'm just going just gonna to watch it, watch all this massive suffering and not lift a finger. Is that your theory? That it was created good and, and your God has just sat there and watched all this, all this time, day by day, second by second, massive suffering? Is that your theory? Are you starting to see how sick that is and how, you know, if you believe that and think that's good that you're sick, that you're on Team Evil, you're defending Team Evil? So, see what I'm saying? So you, if you think you poked a hole in my theory with coming up with what if it wasn't created this way, you have some spiritual work to do on yourself because you haven't thought it through. Because what does that make you if you're saying that's good? Or your God's good? The one that just watches for thousands of years. The massive suffering here. And the evil, just allowing the evil to control it when he could intervene and stop it all. Wow. That must be one of the most evil, sadistic things around. And in a combination of being one of the laziest creatures ever, to sit and watch and do nothing when it has the ability, supposedly has the ability to intervene, being an omnipotent, omniscient uh, creature or being, if what they claim is, is true. What Christians and other religions, the Jujubes and the Islamists and all the rest, they all claim all powerful, all loving God has sat back and watched all this. Are you kidding me? That doesn't make you moral for, for believing that. Far from it. Far from it. Makes you a defender of team evil. Whether you like it or not, that's what it is. Because you're afraid of it. You're afraid of that being. You're afraid of saying the truth of it. So it's easier for you to think. You're assuming, hey, this guy's just a human being. I can attack him freely or say that he's totally wrong or pretend that he hasn't thought of something or do whatever, defend God, or some people go to extremes, they, they defend this monster completely because they think there's going to be no repercussions of doing that. You might be wrong on that, though. Have you ever considered that possibility? You might be wrong. I might just be a spirit in this body temporarily. And what you're worshipping and fearing might be a monster, not a, quote, God. The way it looks. So anyway... You're free to do what you want, to believe what you want, to defend what you want, to stand on the side of Team Evil. But there might be a reckoning one day. You ever consider that? Outside of this realm, outside of this matrix? If you ever get out. But if you cling to those lies, you might, you might be here forever. You ever consider that possibility? That you're in a soul trap and that you might stay here forever with your mentality? believing that whatever created this is good might keep you here forever. <clears throat> forever, excuse me, forever, forever and ever. I'm going to end this video soon. But I think I made my point and I don't want to just repeat myself. You might want to ponder this a little bit deeper. Might want to do that. 
I hope you do. I wish you well. I don't wish you harm. Hope you get out of here.